Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Take 5 episode. This week we're going to be talking about anti-Black racism, what it means to be anti-racist, and um, how to have conversations about racism in our daily lives. And so although that we're, you know, we're starting this conversation, this Take 5 conversation during Black History Month, we wanted the CTK community to know that we're committed to doing this anti-racism work um, and making these conversations part of our everyday work all year round. Um, so this isn't just a February um, focus because of Black History Month. It's, you know, this is our focus throughout the year. So we wanted to acknowledge that we are speaking from our own perspectives. So acknowledging our own um, race, right? So we're two white women and we strive to be anti-racist allies in both our personal and in our professional lives. Um, and we aren't experts. We don't claim to know what it's like to experience racism, but we are committed to learning, to listening, advocating and doing the hard work that we need to do. So what does it mean to be anti-racist? Um, I think of, a lot of us think of either you're racist or you're not, but really when you're an anti-racist, um, you are committed to a, con a process of continual self-examination, of always looking at yourself, examining your um, unknown, bi your unconscious biases, and some of the stuff that's ingrained that you don't even know it's there until your mouth opens and you say something. So that's what it is to be an anti-racist. Anti um, so I, I recently had a conversation with a, someone close to me who you said a phrase that was very objectionable. And when I said, that's racist, he responded, I'm not racist and had a whole long laundry list of why he wasn't. And I just kind of, I pointed out like, no, you may not be racist, but those words embolden people to be, to be hateful to others. So um, it's not just an either or, it's being an anti-racist and growing in your capacity to, to love other people and to understand when you're working from ignorance and hatred. So um, opening those conversations when you hear things can be really, really difficult. And I, I the, the famous um, line, uh, those people, those people always do that. And just an innocent, uh, what people? What people are you talking about? And then you get that look like, you know, uh, no, sorry, I don't know. And it's it's actually, I take a little bit of delight out of doing that, seeing them squirm a bit, but um, just the, that kind of challenge sometimes at least takes the airspace away from that kind of passive um, racism. And I recently came across a campaign and it's called the Make It Offered campaign. Um, it's from Alberta and uh, it's uh, Mayor Don Iveson and Jesse Lipscomb, who is a, um, a Canadian actor. And this campaign, they had a summit in uh, just recently in December, and uh, they encourage people to confront racism wherever they see or hear it. Um, and they encourage people to do so by making it awkward because it is awkward. Um, so, you know, um, like like you just said, Ms. Lazowski, so asking questions that kind of, you know, cause people to have to take, you know, take a moment and, and explain why they've said or did what they, you know, what they've done. Um, so can you tell me why you chose that word or can you help me understand why you feel that way? Um, Things like that, where you know, a lot of the time people say and do things without really thinking, and it's kind of that unconscious bias that Ms. Lazowski was talking about. So, um, the way that you challenge people might look different depending on you know whether you know them or you don't know them, or you know where this um, interaction is happening, um, and uh, in the circumstances, of course. But um, you know. It, it, addressing things as they come is really important um, and allowing space for there to be a conversation um, that's where growth can happen is when you know when you give them give that space um, for uh, you know a conversation as opposed to just shutting things down right um, so so asking questions is a really good way to challenge um, and and just you know saying you know I disagree that you know, absolutely making your case as to why you don't agree is, is absolutely appropriate. Um, 
but um, I, I just really liked the uh, the approach of this campaign, um, you know, making it awkward because, you know, it does get awkward when people have to explain um, where their where their beliefs come from. Sometimes they may not have thought about it. So it could allow for some growth that way. And uh, another thing is sometimes we are afraid to engage in anti-racism work because we might get it wrong. We might not say it right. And so we feel uncomfortable and we stay stay silent. And so I, I like to remind myself that it's better to try and fail than to be silent and be taken as being complicit, to be taken as agreeing. So um, just just doing the best I have, I can give what I got to the situation and being willing to learn how to do it better next time. So like we said, you know, at the beginning, this is not, um, this is only, you know, the beginning of our take five conversations, but these conversations we've been having in our, you know, our daily work and, um, you know, we're committed to doing, uh, to doing the work every day. And it's important, um, like Ms. Lazowski said earlier, just, you know, when you think about racism um, and anti-black racism, don't just sit there and say, you know, I'm not racist because that kind of suggests that you don't have any work to do. And we all, we all have work to do. Um, so self-reflection is really important. Um, you know, asking yourself questions like, you know, what, what, um, what can I do in my daily life to, you know, to address anti-black racism? What can I do? Um, it, you know, how can I learn more about black history, about black excellence and celebrating the amazing um, contributions that black people have brought to Canadian, um, to our Canadian culture and, um, you know, the um, just the way that we can participate in um, the necessary changes that are happening in our Canadian society. So, um, so we just wanted to leave, you know, some of those questions, just some things to think about. And, um, you know, we are um, going to be con continuing these conversations in our take fives on our Instagram at jags.talk um, and, you know, with our students and our staff every day. So, um, so thank you so much for joining us and we'll, um, we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.